for comedy. Israeli cabs have hands-free devices so that the driver can explain the conflict to you with both hands. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be the first one who dies from the conflict being discussed. <laughs> I run a, a tech startup and we guys in Israel, so our, our, our law firm in Israel sends me a message. They say, uh, give us a few days uh, to get the paperwork to you because the associate has been called up to the army. And I was like, that's the most badass thing uh, that a lawyer is ever going to say to me. Uh, hold, hold the papers for a few days. I got to go crush the terrorists. Here are some signs. You might be in Israel. <clears throat> if you've ever smoked in a prenatal unit, <laughs> one of the reasons we did this is uh, we're friends with a lot of comedians and so online on Facebook they're seeing these horrible stories, these very biased stories from uh, liberal media like CNN that's just rapidly anti-Israel and they think it's a bunch of like brown people in sand throwing rockets at each other. And I wanted to show them that first a lot of us are very pale. Um, but also that Israel has this very rich culture. It's a technology hub, there's 4,800 startups just in Tel Aviv. If you start honking before you pull out of a driveway, <laughs> or begin a sentence, <laughs> if you wear too much cologne and not enough deodorant, <laughs> if you've ever worked in the middle of a shopping mall, okay, that's well, still be okay. Here you go. I was like, uh, well, if my lawyers are going to go fight Hamas, maybe I shouldn't just be sitting around in New York. Uh, and so we, I, I messaged uh, Danny, and I said, "Hey, uh, let's let's go to Israel and do this uh, this comedy tour, uh, which is it's not the same as fighting terrorists in hindsight. It's, yeah, but it's nice. We wouldn't be good at fighting terrorists. If you claim to be an investor yet have no money, <laughs> you might be an Israeli. If everyone else is an idiot." I think you're just a Jew. Okay, that's <laughs> <laughs>